juicy opportunities here on both ends if you own XRP and XLM. Some big news coming out, including a recent projection on what to expect with CPI data coming out next week. Yep, well, you guys know how bad it is. Whenever CPI data comes out nasty, crypto markets heavily react. Let's leave this screen and go into this one. The heat map is very significant today. Why? Well, it is all red and it's all red because of the news that's happening right now. And the world is starting to shift. Yes, everyone, a lot of focus has been on CPI data, but now we're starting to hear about jobs data affecting the market. And that's actually why we see the screen of red right here. It has to do with the job report. Bitcoin drops below 20,000 following U.S. jobs data. Dollar index soars. All right, U.S. added 263,000 new jobs in a month of September, above the expectations of 255,000, but below previous months of 315,000. Bitcoin dropped below. 20,000 following the news, losing about 2% in the hour. I know 2% doesn't sound like a lot, but think of the strength that this jobs report had on the impact of Bitcoin and the rest of the crypto market. You can see right here, once the report was launched, boom, there goes the dynamite. Bitcoin dropped on down, broke under the 20,000 mark, which is a very significant point right there. And it all had to do with jobs. The DXY dollar index is represented on this chart. And you can see just the opposite happened to that index. Once the news was released, boom, there you go. So we've got some definite inverse trading between the two. Look at that. Bitcoin price correction, right? DXY dollar index. Oh, interesting. So for those of you that are traders out there, start paying attention to the DXY dollar index. Love this article. Why? Because it leads me into the segue to the next part, which is going to be increased buying, selling opportunities, XRP, XLM this upcoming week. Why everyone? Traders will now be looking towards next Thursday's inflation print with the US releasing the CPI data for September. CPI came in hotter than expected in August, causing an uptick in volatility in the crypto markets. We watched that live as they released the reports. And don't worry, we're going to have a live stream when CPI data is released because boy, the markets reacted hardcore last time. XRP and XLM, by the way, did a great job bumping up while Bitcoin was going down. We saw a big separation when the Fed dropped that 75 point hit. But we've got a market prediction for you, everyone. Uh-oh, Cleveland Fed released the NOW report. What's interesting about the NOW cast takes data up to right now and does a projection. It's almost kind of like a linear saying, hey, look, if we are X number of days into this cycle, this is our path right here. We could project X number of days forward. This is what our path looks like. That's what they did. So the Cleveland Fed came out with projections. And if you're interested on CPI buying, selling opportunities, here's the data for you. As such, the recent inflation now cast from the Cleveland Fed is disappointing. The now cast for October CPI is estimated to be plus 0.7% month to month compared to a plus 0.3% from September CPI. So now if September's data, which is released in October, comes out even higher than the previous month, month over month increase, that means Jerome Powell and the Fed would be more inclined to at minimum drop a 75 basis point hit on the market. If the upcoming inflation data continues to run hot as we've recently seen, then it may prompt reaction from the Fed and you know exactly what I'm talking about. Back to back to back to back to back 75 basis point hits. Can the US economy and families across the country be able to withstand that? The Fed are already expected to hike their rates at the upcoming November and December meetings. So remember, we're gonna get CPI data for this month, but there will not be a Fed meeting for this month. So look for November to be an even bigger to hammer to be dropped. Yep, because it looks like the CPI data is coming in hot. So why am I interested in this data and why is there such a shift now from jobs in CPI? Well, remember, CPI inflation data goes up, the Fed has to jack up rates. Fed jacks up rates, it takes down the economy, right? That's what the Fed does. Their only tool is to attack the demand side of the economy. That's, that's people like me and you. Yeah, we're the demand side of it. So what happens, businesses cut costs, jobs reports go bad, unemployment goes up, job offerings go down. Now you start seeing the weighting of CPI data maybe becoming a little bit less as jobs importance starts becoming more and more. That's why we saw the reaction of Bitcoin and the cryptos this morning. Now, the reason why I'm super, super excited about inflation data, CPI and all that is because the last time we saw the Fed meet, 
XRP, XLM are two favorite cryptos that we cover on the channel. I'll put my stellar hat on for this last segment here. But XRP and XLM broke apart from Bitcoin and Ethereum. When the announcement was made on the 75 basis point hit, XRP and XLM went up, whoops, sorry, do this in the camera, while Bitcoin and everyone else went down, Bitcoin and Ethereum mostly. Interesting to see there is we saw a huge decoupling with that 75 basis point announcement. Now, we're not gonna see any Fed announcement this month, which means you're gonna see a lot more weight placed on the CPI data that's gonna be coming out on the 13th at 8.30 a.m. Eastern time, gonna have a live stream. Be ready with your questions. Thank you very much for watching. Learn more right here. Have a great rest of your Friday. Bottoms up, everyone.